Colorado's legalization of marijuana has led to a boom of a different kind. Explosions from people trying to create hash oil. It's not a red fire like a campfire or a blue fire like your stove. It was a white fire. It was white. It was so, like, it was an inferno. Wayne Winkler suffered severe burns to his hands, face, and neck in 2012 when he tried extracting THC from marijuana by using flammable butane, a process called blasting. And the gas will start um, coming out at the bottom of the tube. The butane is removed, leaving a concentrated form of pot that is vaporized and smoked by so-called dabbing. It's increasing in popularity. We did this to ourselves as a state. We're going to have to live with what is happening out there. Since marijuana sales became legal this year, there have been 20 injuries from nearly three dozen explosions, up from 11 last year, caused by the vapors from the butane. Authorities are grappling with how to respond. What pot users are doing is risky, but not illegal. If you're going to do it and there's no way to stop you, do it in a safe environment. Licensed manufacturers suggest limits on butane sales. Leave it to the professionals to extract at this point. It's very dangerous. Um, we've got a lot of safety protocols set up within our laboratory. For Winkler, it was about a stronger high and a cheaper product. It wasn't worth the risk at all. A message authorities hope dissuades other would-be home chemists. Peter Banda, Associated Press, Denver.